This is his print. This is uh, this is not original. This is a print. He had. Um, I think they're all the same. I was gonna frame one and and uh, put it up on my wall. Yeah, these are the same. Who did this? My late husband Josh Kahigamk. He paint. He was painting. There's only two I have given some away. I should give you one. So cool. Yeah. But this is just the print. I like the way he... The way he painted. Look at the fine lines. Really talented. Yeah, he was my, good. My son Robbie has one and he framed it. It's hanging on his wall. He's got quite a few of his dad's uh, paintings on his wall. So this is so we have my sisters that are teachers. Hmm. My mom did a lot of beadwork and my dad encouraged us to go to go to school. All of us. And we all had jobs, even now. Like my brother, uh, my oldest brother that works at the band office, works with capital projects, works. And then um, my brother that's married to a, a nurse lives in Sokal. He works at the uh, uh, Sokal Health Authority. And he, he's a teacher too. See, I'm the oldest, and then I'm a teacher, my sister, she's a teacher too, and and this is my brother that works at the ban office, and my brother, and my other brother, he's a native language teacher, and this is my other sister, she lives in, uh, in Sachigo. She works at the education board, um, helps, uh, works with the education director. She's almost an education director. She does a lot of that work. And then this is the one you went to meet, Norris. He's, he's into crafts and uh, making Dikanagan and, and, um, and um, paddles. 
And this is my sister, Nora Jane. She works at the corporation. And this is another sister. She, she, uh, she's a native language teacher at the high school, at the high school level. And this is my youngest brother. It's Elton. Elton, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like him. I knew it. Yeah. Yeah. He he was working at the. Home care, and then my my brother Charlie. That's the one I mean that lives in Sokot. Mm, this is my baby sister. She's a teacher. She's been teaching for a while. And this is my nephew, but he's like a brother. My mom and them brought him up. He lives in Thunder Bay. He's an he paints. And my other brother, uh, he works for, you know that South Trout camp that the chief bought before? He works there. He looks after the thing, looks after the camp. The, and this is my sister, she passed away a long time ago. My mom and my dad. Everybody has something that they're doing. My brother uses his, uh, my dad had a little uh, sawmill there outside and, and my brother, this one, he uses the sawmill to cut the logs. Yeah, I cut these. There's a little bit there, what I cut, but look at the, the the bugs got in there, eh? You see it? The holes? That's where I cut my, uh, the paddles. But I haven't had any logs yet, eh? Oh, Bart asked me to do these for his smokehouse, for his sauna. Oh, because it was burnt down. Yeah. I, You're did, gonna... I did 40 already. That's just the last bit I got to do. He wants me to cut, cut it like this one. Just uh, so he can stack them up and build it. That's the machine you used on there? Yeah, that's a little sawmill. Eh? Just a little band saw my dad bought. I've never seen this machine before. Super cool. Pretty good. You just put logs in here and then off you go. Actually, I've been trying to get some logs to get some more uh, uh, paddles ready. Yeah, because there's always there's always people asking me. Yeah, always. The minute I make it, somebody wants it. Eh? And that's what my dad would do. He 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 taught he taught my brother how to make the tikkunagan and uh, and the paddles. Just as for a toy, eh? they play with it, right? They play with it, right? Yeah. Toy ones, but we make uh, big ones for babies. Eh? People still. Uh, People still call and ask. They want it? Is it pop? Is people that still want this? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know how many I've made around here, the reserves. Mm -hmm. They get a hold of somebody saying, uh, this guy made me a Tiknagan and you know, and they're still calling me. I don't know how many I've made already. What do you think? Maybe 100? <laughs> Maybe at least 100? How long does it take for you to make one? Like how long? It just depends. Because you dry them, you cut them, you dry them, and then um, it won't take long. If I'm working on it every day, it might take a week, a week and a half. But the thing is, you varnish, you dry it, you varnish, you dry it. Eh? Oh. That, that's what takes a little bit longer. We'll grab some boards for it. These are the ones I'm going to use. These ones here, eh? This is what you'll turn them this into? Is, this is what I'm going to use. That's just from a sawmill, right? These are the ones I'm going to use. They're kind of washed. So I'm going to make these, hopefully, hopefully within... Uh, 
This is what you use to make the paddles? Yeah. But I cut my own, right? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna use. And I'll make them, uh, like the ones I had there, right? Yeah. yeah that's what I'm gonna use. That's for my smoking, eh? That's the kind of wood we use. Oh, really? Yeah. They're not, those ones are not dry, but once they're dry, See, I got this from the garbage dump. <laughs> that's for my door. That window? Yeah. Wow. Somebody threw, a, Somebody threw that good window? So gonna, that's what I was working on. I'm going to try and fit it in there. Eh? That's a good window. <laughs> that's what I thought. Did somebody throw it away? Yeah, I want to I wanna put it in there. Eh? Oh. And this is going to be my door. We got an 8 by 10 shack. Even though he didn't have a like a job job? He was always doing something. He never sat around. He would be out in the bush hunting or or he'd be cutting logs and work on his little lumber there. Even even after he was quite old already, he was still doing that. So he, I, I'm not, I don't know, but uh, most of my family, my siblings are, they all have jobs. Not all families around here are like that. You know, there are some, but not, not like, not like, I, I give credit to my parents, so. Yeah, I give credit to my parents. They encourage us. Go back to school. Yes. This would have been covered like a teepee, like, eh? Somebody took it off and then put it back on. That's the smoker. You can still smell it. It's, yeah. it's nice. I like that smell. Yeah. Um, after you cut them up, after you make them, you hang them here, lots of smoke just to smoke dry it. Mm -hmm. And then after that, uh, I use oven racks, eh? I can put two or three in there. Mm -hmm. Then you put them in here, you lay them out. If I have nine or ten, I can lay them out here. After I smoke dry them, then you put the fish there. Then you put these on top, eh? What's, oh, what, these? Yeah. Oh, to, to trap the smoke? Yeah, to trap the smoke and the heat. Ah. All at the same time. So do you cave in this, so just only the top is needed? Oh, just the top, yeah. Like if I were to put this here, uh -huh. pretend there's fish there. I usually try and throw a couple of these in there so they don't, uh, they don't, uh, the, the boards don't get stuck in there, eh? So we'll go like this. The fish are in there, eh? Yeah, like that, and this is the last piece. I don't know how long this thing has been here, probably 10 years or more. <laughs> That's it. Then sometimes I put this here just to cover, get more heat in there. And it just smokes away and cooks for a few hours. That's it. Oh, and then the teepee's covered and caved this whole area. Yeah, yeah. Ah. They took it off and they even put it back on it. Smells so good, man. Yeah, you can smell it. I can that. still smell it. Yeah, yeah. I just had uh, fish you, a couple nights ago. Oh, you Not just. Not last night, the other night. Eh? I was smoking fish. Wow. You just missed me by a few days. I was doing a bit of this thing and, and that, eh? <laughs> but my dad. My dad, for me anyway, personally, had a lot of influence on me to, to get where I was at. And I taught for about 30 years. With my degrees and everything. Most of us have the degrees. She does too. I don't know if um, if this one has all her degrees. I'm not sure. 
Okay, there's us that are teachers and and my sister in laws Well, they're not in the picture. Two of my sister in laws His wife is a teacher. His wife is a teacher. So, like, we, we, we did a lot of... We were we were taught to to um, to do uh, you know to go back to school and to um, get jobs. It was for my my dad and my mom. You here to double ride me back to the house? Like she forgot we're riding the back. Just wanted to thank my Uber, my Sandy Lake Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all later. What's that? What do you have over uh, there? This is a big moose phone. I think this is the neck. The spine part of the moose looks like it, or well, towards the, the tail end maybe. Okay. And um. Somebody gave it to you, or? Yeah, somebody. Fabian Crow gave it to me. He killed three moose, and he brought a couple of moose bones for me. So we're gonna make soup. <laughs> Boil it. Boil it most of the day. Get all the the good things out of. Okay. Yeah. I don't see the body go. Look at their little oh, 
Bella, Bella, no, Bella. Shh, don't worry. Oh, Oh yeah, you were busy. <laughs> you had to pick up a, yeah. a slingshot for us. That's awesome. Today we're gonna go hunting for. Uh, what are we looking for? Par partridge. Partridge, partridge today. Yeah. Partridge. So, do you know of a good area where we can maybe? Yeah, there's. It can go up the trail and go left a little bit and go around. Like, they should be hanging out over there. Yeah. Awesome. Are right, you ready to go hunting with us? Yes. I'm gonna get Drake because he has a better aim than me. Okay, listen, guys, let's make a plan. We should turn the, turn the vehicle on so she has some heat. And then I need you three to gather some rocks and you start to feel where the, where the pigeons are gonna be. You guys start grabbing some rocks right now. We need a couple, like three each, okay? But they got to be big enough to put in the slingshot, right? So they got to be good sizes. Like this? Yeah, a little bit. Like that one is perfect. I put this one though. That one's okay too. Three rocks each, okay guys, let's go. Is this a good rock? A good... No, that's not good enough. Yeah, that's good. Okay. This is good? This yeah, excellent. Good. good. You got three of them? Yeah. You're good at finding rocks. Help these this guys. Good? Yeah, that's good. This one good? Uh, it's a little too small. <laughs> and skinny. <laughs> Not this one, right? No. Is this one good? Oh, this one is good. Uh, no. Let me see. Yeah, that's a good one. How many do you have? I already got three. You have three? Yeah. Do you have three? No, I need, I need one. No, it's too small. They showed you the size that we need. Is this good? Yep, that's a good one. Do you have three? Everybody's got three? No, I got, I got three. I got three. So we need, how many more do you need? One more. All right, help them find one more, guys. Guys, we got him. Let's head back to the vehicle, warm up, and come up with a game plan. Here you go. Thank you. All right. Did you hear that? Okay, nothing.
said when I was moving. Oh, in the footsteps. Yeah. Think you can? Yeah, I can break it like. Or put it at the edge of this thing here and stand in the middle of it. Amitas, Kapok said, Muya, you are Katwitz Gatik, Chimun Sega Nagewan. 